Hey, everybody. Hello, hello. Hi. Good to see you all. Gwen, Broke Cowgirl Homestead. Hello, hello. Heather, Milk and Honey Heritage Farms. We've got Tina, Life in the Piedmont. Hi. Good to see you all. Thank you for coming in. And thank you to everybody who's here but not in the chat. Appreciate you coming. To How have you been doing, Lisa? Doing good. Cutting more trees. I saw that. Hey, our new land, Devin. Good to see you guys. Yeah. A lot of gardening. Starting going in the back on. now. Mm -hmm. All the sun. Yes. I saw all the sun. Is that just wonderful? Yeah. It's, it's glorious. It's a lot more breezy though. We were laughing about it. Uh-huh. Um, but it's, it's fine because yeah. it's so, airflow. Just saying though, Lisa, like it is really windy here. And I've been hearing from people in different parts of the United States that they're having a lot of wind. And um, according to the news, hey, Danny, Wicked Awesome Gardening and Suburban hey, Hillbilly. Good to see you guys. Hey, Suburban Hillbilly. And they're saying there's like this jet stream that's just coming across. So I'm sure it is windier, but let's let's hope that maybe that dies down. It's part of the weather, too. It's fine. Mm -hmm. It's fine. You know, the, the reality of it is, is when you there's always pros and cons. Mm -hmm. and you know like the chickens are more open to predators but the reality yeah. of it is is it needed to be done so yeah yeah i'm excited for you and i love your three greenhouses thank you thank you, you guys if you haven't seen her video she just uploaded yesterday go check that out it's pretty yeah, awesome it was a quick quick one <laughs> mm -hmm. i, love I wanted it. to get something out but it just uh it feels good to be ahead for a change usually we're so mm -hmm. behind Mm hmm. Yeah. I'm so, <laughs> so I looked at last year. I didn't even plant my first seeds until like beginning of May. I was so behind. So I definitely feel like I'm a little more on top of it this year, but I have more seeds. Like I haven't planted my started my cucumber seeds. Oh, That's wow. one of the things you got to have cucumbers. Right. But I figure I'm still going to be ahead of, you know, where I was last year. Hey, my Renaissance grandma. Hey, my Renaissance grandma. Good to see you guys. So today we're going to be chatting about in the spirit of March. I'll I'm going to share our little banner um, of the seven F's in case anybody's forgotten. They are faith, family, friends, finance, fitness, fun, and future. And uh, as we do our goal setting, and we you know try to live our life instead of our life living us, so to speak. Um, we try to keep it all balanced with these seven Fs. And in March, we've been talking a lot about um, finances and ways that we can have an impact on those for the positive, like repurposing things and gardening and raising our own food, <coughs> our own animals for food. And, and today we're going to talk about uh, side hustles, making money on the homestead. Even if, I don't know about you, Lisa, but one thing I think about when I'm thinking about um, ways to make money is even if I'm not doing it now, being aware of what I have that could be a skill set that could be used to make money. So kind of like a side hustle in the wings, if you will. And there's Absolutely. always, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I've, I heard somebody mention once, like when you have your hobbies, you, you should have a hobby that's good for your health. You should have a hobby that's just flat out brings you joy, but allows you to gain a skill. Mm -hmm. And you should have a hobby that you can make money from when you think about your hobbies. And so if you think about, I know we have a lot of uh, a doers. We're all like, I don't know, in the homestead community and um, content creators on YouTube and people that watch us. Um, one thing I think that we all have in common, regardless of what we do is we're doers. We tend to do things. You know what I mean? Yep. Mm hmm. So and everything we do could be um, we could generate some kind of revenue from. Hey, Simply Jan Homestead, Bare Bones Living. Good to see you guys. Do you see Broke uh, Cowgirls Homesteads this time of year plant start sell well? Oh, wait, hold on. Further up, huh? Yep. Uh Oh, further up. <laughs> I'm getting there. Bear with me. I wish it would. No, let further you. down, I think. Further down. Okay. 
Don't start any seeds. Oh, I found it. <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. Yeah, so I paid, I, I didn't sell mine. I gave them away, but I had planted a bunch of uh, tomato seeds because I had old ones, a lot of old ones, and I wanted to use them up. Mm -hmm. I planted way too many. I didn't think the germination would be that good. Well, I ended up with 154 tomato plants. Holy smokes. So that's we all know that I ain't got no room for that. Oh my goodness, that's so awesome. One of the one of the things that I've done is um I ended up giving them away. Mm -hmm. And it feels good because I gave them to people who give us stuff. Yeah. And so I thought that was real important. It is. That's awesome. And no kid because you think about how much you pay you would pay for those starts too, right? Like I'm sure yeah. you could sell a tomato start for like five dollars a piece, really. And Danny was talking about like the heating in her house. Cause when you heat with wood, you know, it's like, it's up and down, right? Because you uh -huh. leave for the day to go to work, you come back, it's cold, then it's hot, then it's cold. Danny, we've grown seedlings when we grew wood. And at that time we didn't have a heat mat, but we put towels on the bottom. Mm -hmm. But um, we do it now. And typically when it gets real, like usually March is our snowiest. And when it gets really cold, mm -hmm. you know, we're in the low sixties in our house and we just mm -hmm. we grow our stuff. Now we have a heat mat, um, mm -hmm. but, and we have the full spectrum lights, but it works. Yeah. We have had two beautiful days yesterday and today are like close on the clothesline okay. kind of That's days. That's wonderful. And Thank now we're going into snow. First local egg customer. Woohoo. Yeah. Can't forget about the revenue we can produce from our chickens. Absolutely. Absolutely. Like, so Lisa, like you said, even with giving the, um, the plants away, I mean, you weren't bartering per se, but when you receive something, it's nice to be able to return the blessing. And yeah. Cause the person we barter with. So the person who gave us that tote. Uh huh. Oh, I love that. Tote. Bartered. <laughs> bartered with to drill some holes for them in the ground mm -hmm. for posts awesome and um they always think of us so we wanted to do return the same to them suburban hillbilly had to throw extra starts away oh my goodness oh that's awful what a bummer yeah because um, my renaissance grandma it is they're getting more and more expensive every year yep yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, should, Danny. Oh, and they smell amazing. Yeah. Mm hmm. I love those. The other thing is, uh, we we also sell piglets. Mm hmm. Yeah. So. Yep. Facebook page. Yeah. There's ways to find consumers. Yep. Your customers. Bare bone, you can't sell any? Really? Wow. That's horrible. I'm sorry. Mm. It is. Gosh, it has me thinking, like, you know, what else can you do with those eggs other than, you know, cook with them? Have a bake sale, I guess. Freeze them, dehydrate. Freeze them, dehydrate. Yeah. Are they the dark the dark ones or the light ones, Danny? I have the light ones. They were here when we moved in, but I love those dark ones. Man, they're yeah. nice. We have light ones over by the big house. And oh my, I smell them all the way over here. It's yep. awesome. Hey, Ann. Good to see cool. you. Hey, Lena. That's Lena at Red Road. Oh, hey, Lena. Oh, good. Bare bones. Yeah, there you go. Noodles with eggs. I'm trying to think of some other way you could do that to, you know, I think a lot of it is where's the, what's the forum that we're trying to sell on to for those. You might need to, um, I don't know, get more creative with how you're trying to sell them. Just a thought. Yep. Our new land, I've water glassing. Yep. That's another great way. You can fit about, I think I've got in a gallon jar, I think I fit around close to 36 eggs in there. Nice. In a water glassed. 
Yeah. I freeze dry them too. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's awesome, Gwen. Oh, nice. Growing extra produce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's awesome, Tina. Yeah, and sharing your sharing your skill set, especially this time of year. There's a lot of, um, you know, I know there's YouTube meetups happening, but there's also like uh, homesteading meetups where they're looking for people to come and share their skill, yeah. um, creating classes or things just from your skill set. That's another way to, you know, make some extra cash flow. And the other thing too is, you know, um, like Tina was talking about, you could do a CSA. You could do a CSA, which is community supported ag. And you do a, a CSA box every week of produce. Pickled oh, that's eggs too. Pickled egg. I love that idea. Because great idea. Hey, it Blue. is, isn't it? Because yeah, those would, would be great to sell. Mm -hmm. Heck yeah. I just had a, an abundance of eggs because of the time change. And I hard boiled them all and added some chili pepper flakes for the chickens mm -hmm. and fed them back to them. And then. Uh, yeah. Same as the. Same as the pigs. I just no chili pepper flakes for the pigs, but they ate it and they enjoyed it. Yeah. Even they love them. Or, hand yeah yeah so as for skillshare and i think that's an amazing idea i'm not keen on charging for it yep yeah true true i mean sometimes when you when you when you don't charge for it you know it comes back to you the blessing comes back yep mm -hmm. absolutely danny we we feed uh, we feed raw eggs all the time. Mm -hmm. that's, do how you? Get, that's how I get diesel off the couch at night to go to the bathroom. Huh? I say you want an eggy, and he jumps up. Really? <laughs> yeah. And they're so raw though, not cooked. Correct. I know you have a video on that. You did a video on like the raw food diet for dogs mm -hmm. quite a while ago. An egg okay. is a perfect protein for a dog. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't upset their stomach. No. Nope. Huh. I treat any raw food for a dog the same way I would treat human food. So I wouldn't mm -hmm. feed anything that I wouldn't eat myself. Mm -hmm. Because that's when you get into trouble. Mm -hmm. Yep. A lot of people um, would enjoy a canning class. Yep. Scrambled eggs and veggies. Oh, good to know. Yeah. I have oh. a customer who buys eggs for scrambled eggs for their dog. <laughs> no kidding. Oh, yeah. Hey, Garden He's a big, State. Uh, what is he? Is he a Pyrenees? I think so. He's a big dog. Nope, cats too, apparently. Mm-hmm. Huh. That's a good idea too. Yeah, there's so much that we can do. And, you know, what about, um, so if we think about the garden, let's think about the garden. You think about, like, selling your starts. And don't forget, like, the bigger sizes, too. My goodness. Oh, yeah. The larger plants, if you can, you know, keep up potting them, there's a great way to, you know, up the cost of what you're selling them for. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Right. And then the Absolutely. produce. I mean, it's really a win win if you have extra produce um, beyond what you want to can. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome, Jan. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Hey, Kathleen. Mm -hmm. Hey, Kathleen. Literature and more with Kathleen. Good to see you. Yeah. And even if you're not, even for the bartering, right? Christine, Mrs. Gilliam Farm. Hey, Christine. Good to see you. Um, and then we think about, uh, animals. So Lisa, you sell the pigs. Yep. We, uh, we have in the past, we have hatched turkeys, mm -hmm. um, and sold them. We, that was last year. We also hatched last year, uh, chicks and sold them. Awesome. Um, but you know, 
we've done that. And then um, lots of other things too. Mm -hmm. I'm still working on making more of these. Oh my gosh. Look at that. I love that. So nice that and is warm. So cute. Yeah. But yeah. So I finished an Afghan and I've been thinking about the knitting. I've been thinking, nice. thinking about trying that. I, I've got to go online and find like a good starting knitting video with something. I, I tell you, I did that hat, the one that I screwed up the first one because I did the yarn over. Thank you, uh -huh. Anne. Thank you, Rebecca. Um, I did this ribbed hat. I'm, I'm still that other second one I'm working on. I'm, I had pro major problems and I had to have one of my knitting group folks help me out with it. And she got me back on track. Then we've been busy. So mm -hmm. I'm about to finish that now, finally. Very cool. Um, oh, look, broke cowgirl quail eggs. Yeah. So selling eggs even before they hatch, either for food or to hatch, if they've been candled. And I, so somebody near us has, um, has bressies and I'm, that's that one chicken that I want. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. We've just got to get the infrastructure in for it. And then I want to, I want to go get those, but I really want to be prepared now that I know that somebody's here who's going to be having eggs all the time. I feel like, I feel like I can kind of take my time and get them when I'm ready, but I so, love that. And yeah. Thanks ladies. And thanks Gwen. I will check that out. Sell some honey. Mm -hmm. Gear grind wants to know if we're doing two hours. Hey, gear grind. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't be the same without you gear. It wouldn't. Yeah. So your animals, what your animals can bring to the homestead to at least help pay for themselves because, you know, feed costs and all of that fun stuff. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And then your crafting. Absolutely. Your knitting, your crocheting, um, your soap making. And that's another place where your repurposing comes in too with, with soap making or yes, candle sure. making because that's what I, that's what I did. I would sell candles when I was going into an office and I would always go into a lot of different offices um, at the last place that I worked. And so when I went in there, I could, everybody knew that I made things and I was always telling people about, you know, what I made or showing them an example. And then they wanted me to bring a box. So it kind of worked its way up to that, but you could do the same thing like um, with your church family, um, neighbors, just, you know, let the word out of what you do. Yep. And you're going to have people that, that want to see what it is that you have. And, and then when you can build up to a larger scale, you could do like craft fairs and things like that too, which are a little more work because you have to go there and stay. <laughs> yeah, but. absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. No worries, Jamie. Thank you, Jamie. Good to see you. Nice. Oh, we sell lambs once they, we have them. Awesome. No ram, no lambs. No ram, no lambs. That's all right, Jan. I've got a boring with two sows and I'm, I'm waiting on, there's a lot of noise. And I, we always say that when there's a lot of noise, there's not a lot of action. So oh. <laughs> when, when there's a lot of noise, that means he's, he's looking for it and they're not, in standing heat. So mm -hmm. we're waiting. Twin size quilt out of patriotic fabrics. Indicate the head. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's awesome. She said, I said no and gave it her instead. And she cried. Oh, Aww. no worries gear. Oh, that's awesome. Gwen. A good buckling. So I can be. Too bad we're not closer. Boy, we have some beautiful, beautiful yeah. things. Oh, my goodness. We do. They're really pretty. Oh, goodness, gear. Peak. I know it. Yeah. So for everyone, everyone in the chat, tell us if you were to, if you were to need to rely on a side hustle, what's the first thing that you're thinking that you could do? to generate some income for your household. Well, that's cool. 
Yeah, wood burn designs on small wooden chests. Oh my goodness, that is cool. That's really Anytime cool. you can personalize something. Good for you, Gear. I'm glad it's working out. Good morning, Lori. Good to see you. Good morning, Lori. Yep. Selling livestock. Mm hmm. Long care and landscaping type stuff for income hustle. Oh, my goodness. Right. Especially out here. Yeah, so for sure. Yeah. Of course you can. Suburban hillbilly, feel free. Mm -hmm. Hey, CB. Oops, my phone thinks I'm talking to it. Sell feet pics. Sell feet pics. <laughs> <laughs> <Sell feet. laughs> I was thinking, you know what the first thing that came to mind is I like pig's feet. <laughs> and I'm like, Oh gosh, that's that's that just kind of <laughs> <laughs> oh birdhouse gourds. That is cool. Yes, definitely good to have a few things. Yep, absolutely. Mm -hmm. You were making two k a month. Was that on YouTube? That's awesome. And later on jars of yumminess. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, selling seeds. I forgot about that. Teaching online. Yeah, that's a good idea too. Eggs, herbs, dresses. And you know, like there's, I'm just thinking like, Anne, I don't know where you teach or if you're thinking like a home, like a homeschool kind of thing, like K-12 academies, what they had in Arizona. I don't know what they have here, but there's so many homesteaders and it is kind of that are homeschooling their kids. And it's kind of fun to get, you know, like, I don't know, a guest teacher or something for the day or somebody to teach a certain topic. Yep. Yep. Um, Rebecca, I have it. Can I show it? The picture? Yeah. Well, I'm waiting oh, yeah, for her to tell me it's okay. Just want to oh, make sure. Okay. I always like to make sure. Your puppy's feet. <laughs> I thought you meant you I was saying, you must have pretty feet. <laughs> okay. Here, look at this is the quilt. Oh my goodness. Urban Hillbilly made. Is that not oh, amazing? That is amazing. That is beautiful. You can't even see online. I mean, look at the star, wow. the, the coloring. Yeah. Absolutely stunning. That is stunning. You are so talented. Job well done, girl. Let me tell you. <laughs> and I'm Ryan for general labor. Same here. <laughs> <laughs> With mine. Yeah. Oh, very cool. Yeah, Suburban Hillbilly, you did an amazing job on that. You did. On that quilt. Absolutely stunning. Thanks Beautiful. for sharing. And you could see that it looks like it's actually like a, not just a flag, but a flag that's blowing in the wind. And you can see how the colors are gradiating, you know, from light to dark to give that rippling effect. Wow. 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 Beautiful. All the pieces in that. Incredible. Mm -hmm. I just wished I could. That's one thing I want to learn how to do is quilts because I sew clothes. I mean, I, there, I still need to learn stuff with sewing clothes. I've been sewing like, I don't know, nothing too complicated. But the yep. quilting, just think you have to make sure everything planes out accurately. Like you've got to have your squares, right? Like it all has yeah. to. Be, that's the hardest part to me. Absolutely. Clothes, because they kind of turn, you can you can mess up a little. It doesn't hurt anything. Yep. So starts also potted and dehydrated herbs. True that one right there. So abundant acres, uh, just speaking on what my Renaissance grandma said, um, mm -hmm. abundant acres grows her herbs mm -hmm. and then she ends up making dip mixes with the stuff that she grows because she dehydrates wow. it. Uh -huh. And it's amazing. Awesome. 
you know, there's some like if you have a lot of restaurants in your area that are already buying herbs or buying eggs mm -hmm. or buying vegetables, um, that could be a source to a little side hustle that you could get. Yep, absolutely. Teas. Mm -hmm. Yep. So suburban hillbilly. It's easier for you. I tried. So I've sewn curtains. I have sewn curtains. I've done the two layer curtains. I've done them like with the pockets and stuff at the top. Nothing too fancy again, but getting those dang things <laughs> to be perfectly have a 90 degree angle. That was a struggle for me. Yeah. Mm hmm. Everybody, you know, it's like you think something's easy, but that's because maybe it's easy to you. <laughs> Someone else is maybe not so much. Uh-huh. Yeah. Heather's been making patchwork skirts. Yep. And I'm, I, I think want to show Heather. Let me see. It's here. Oh, here's one. Ah. Come on, work with me. There we go. Mm -hmm. Heather said harvest bags. This was one that I made. Oh, look at that. Like a farmer's market bag. Yeah, I love it. It was fun. Yeah. It's all out cute. of cotton. Awesome. I just <laughs> finished a, uh, I f you know, the over on um, Alicia's channel, um, Homesteading Mama. Yep. Wait, what's her name? Yeah. And she had the, like the, what did she call it? Drawing a blank. But every square was a different pattern for an Afghan. Oh, and the heirloom. heirloom. Uh, yeah, crochet. So I did that, but I, but I decided like, so I decided partway through that like, was like, why did I choose these colors? It doesn't match my house. It, it doesn't, my kids don't want it. Like, <laughs> what am I going to do with it? I'm probably going to do it as a giveaway because somebody's bound to like it. I think it's pretty. It's got dark gray, light gray, and yellow. Nice. And I was like, why didn't I do dark gray, light gray, and white? <laughs> or maybe a smoky blue or something. <laughs> I'll have to upload a picture of it. I've still got a couple ends I need to tie in. But now that I'm finished with that, that's why I was thinking, okay, I got this done. I think I'm going to go to knitting because I can't have too many yarn projects at one time. Well, I was excited, bought the yarn for that, and I was going to start it. Mm -hmm. And then life got really busy for us at that time. And I just never followed mm -hmm. through. Yeah. So it's funny you mentioned that because mm -hmm. I am looking for a knitting mm -hmm. block quilt. Oh, yeah. Because I, I think that would be easier to handle. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. Thank you for coming, Red Road. Um, apron, such a I great mean, idea. And bags, harvest bags, aprons. Those are such, those are consumables. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, hey, Joe. Your aprons can get wore out and need to be replaced. Blue makes costumes and reenactment clothing. Yeah. That's awesome. How fun. Like that's, that would be fun to have prepared ahead of like Halloween or something too. Absolutely. Mm hmm. Oh, that would be cute, Heather. I used to have, I used to love buying skirts like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you remember those? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Period dresses. Oh, no kidding, Gwen. I love those. I think Heather just said that too. She'd love to make an 1800s dress. Wow. Wedding mm. dresses. Holy smoke. 7,000 pearls sewn by hand. Eek. That's a lot of pearls. <laughs> hey, Joe, Grow Big TV. Good to see you. Drive for the Amish to appointments in the store, etc. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That would be that would be nice. Yeah, all kinds of things you can sew. And the fabric, getting the fabric that you want to use from the thrift stores or yard sales. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah, and repurposing that. And then you have like your investments smaller, so your yep. return is greater. 
I love that idea. Um, my daughter was saying that there's people that actually want to rent goats too. They want to rent goats to come and mow their lawn. <laughs> yes, they do. Mm -hmm. They do. Or to get, or to take the brush out, mm -hmm. you know, like a brushy area yeah. and have it, have it taken care of. Mm -hmm. Oh, Heather, another good one. Berry and tree starts. In North Carolina, a lot mm -hmm. of people did that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thrifting for fabric and blues saying tend to buy old curtains and sheets from secondhand shops. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great ideas. Hey, Grown with Hudson. And this, hey, Grown with Hudson. Good to see you. And this time of the year, you've got people that are gardening. You've got people that are, you know, getting their hens are going to start producing. So the aprons you've got, oh my gosh. And don't forget like the little bucket things. Like if you can sew the thing for the bucket that goes on the top of it, top of the bucket to like collect, hold tools and what have you. Mm -hmm. They eat poison ivy and kudzu. Oh, Gwen said she watched a video about a goat mm -hmm. rental company that runs them in parks and cemeteries. Very cool. I think it's loom weaving. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's true. To be wary of what's in the yards. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so many opportunities. And my daughter was showing me the other day um, this picture of personalized sleeping bags for kids. Oh, neat. Mm-hmm. Isn't that a great idea? That is. That is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I loved that. I thought that would be so fun. Be a good thing to have down in the storm shelter, too. <laughs> sleeping bags for the babies. You know, the yeah. other thing, too, is, and I'm, I'm looking at this because I have it in front of me. I went to a sip and paint. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. And, you know, that's, that's one beautiful. thing you can do is you can, you can get these cheap canvases and make signs. You did that? Yeah. You did a beautiful job. And you can make signs, you can make pictures and, you know, yeah. that kind of thing. Let me see it again. Hold that up one more time. I love it. You did so good. Thank you. It was fun. Yeah, that's beautiful. Looks professional. You did a wonderful job. It was fun. Thank you. Yeah, blue. And you know what else with that kudzu? Um, it's supposed to be effective for um, cluster headaches. Thanks, blue. There is so much kudzu in the South. That stuff grows like none other. Yeah. Outdoor there used to be a commercial... There used to be a commercial mm -hmm. that where the guy was like, it was one of the all state ones. Thank you. Uh -huh. And uh, he'd be like, Kudzu. he was like creeping across North Carolina. Kudzu, kudzu, kudzu. <laughs> <laughs> Quillows. Yeah, they're That's cool. Weird. And outdoor kits for kids. Yes. Is there anybody here who has had a, a business idea and maybe something they want to sell, some, you know, product, service, um, homemade, something, whatever the case may be, and you haven't done it. If that's the case, put a one in the chat. Something, you haven't done it because <clears throat> there's something holding you up. Put a one in the chat. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know what I get tied up in? Hmm. The liability and the legit, the, the liability and the, the business stuff. Mm -hmm. You know what, what I get tied up in? The dang labels. Really? That's what, that's what has me. What has, what's everybody else? Is it timing? Is it your schedule? 
Um, oh, that too, because I had, I can tell you that I planned to get a lot more done this winter than I did, but because it was warm, we ended up doing a lot more and we've just been nonstop. Mm -hmm. Look at all of our ones. <laughs> you need to be harder on yourself gear. Yeah. But I mean, the thing, thing of it is, is like, for me, like, I'm not, I'm not looking to get rich at all. Hey, Indiana Backyard Gardener. Good to see you. Um, don't want to deal with local cottage laws and taxes. Exactly. Financial roadblock. Something you can overcome. It's timing at the moment. I feel like I'm completely on hold until things are sorted. The type of structure to ship it in and e-commerce setup. So... Let's see. Often tell myself it won't sell. Self-encouragement. If it um, doesn't sell, you don't so, have to worry about shipping. Yeah. <laughs> right? No, no, seriously. Like, because it's funny. I watch these folks on Instagram and like they do a yeah. shop drop and then they get all these orders and they post like all the stuff they're packing up. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's overwhelming. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> Is there, okay, before, I have another question, but before I ask that, I want to speak to Q, Growing with Hudson. So the type of structure to ship it in, like you can buy so many boxes in so many different sizes. Um, have you looked into that? And have you, is it, is there like a first step that anyone here could take to be able to get moving in the direction that they want for their side hustle? Um, if there is put a one in the chat, because I know that I have a first step that I could do. And I say that again, it. is there a first step that you could take towards overcoming the challenge that you've, Oh, that you have, like, Thank whether you. it's, um, shopping around, whether it's doing some comparator research, which means, you know, looking at what your competitors are doing how they're doing it, whether it is reading up on the local laws, um, mm -hmm, the research. Um, the laws are hard. Finding, finding encouragement from other people that are trying to do something too, like a, a little business thing and encouraging one another. Um, Heather, it said encouragement. Um, and Heather, it sounds like if you're worried something won't sell, you need to do some Competitor research. You need to look at what's out there. Indiana Backyard Gardener, my hangup is the startup cost. So have you looked into crowdfunding or, I mean, I don't know what your project is, but it sounds like it must be a big one. Um, is there any baby steps? Can you break the project down into something smaller and then grow it bigger to where it's more expensive? And, you know, look for crowdfunding or some other source of resources then. Um, mm -hmm. I, I would like, you know what I'm going to say, right? Food truck. Oh my goodness. No kidding. Nice. I love food truck food. We stop in our town. Mm -hmm. Bye Ann. No worries. Bye Ann. Good to see you. Thanks for coming. Um, See, that's the, that's the problem I have is because there are not a lot of craft shows near me compared to when I lived in Connecticut and North Carolina. Uh huh. And I'm sorry, I'm not driving eight hours across the state to see if my stuff sells. And I know that's because of where I'm at in my life, mm -hmm. but I'm, I'm just going to, I'm going to do a couple different things this holiday season, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. It feels like a lot of work to do, to do the craft fairs. Yeah. You can get a livestock trailer, um, uh, uh, cheap. Mm -hmm. You just got to make sure you're what you're looking at. Yeah. Cause that's how we got ours. Paper sack looking, building people drive through for their lunch to get, go in a sack. Oh That's my gosh, cool. that is so cute. 
I used to tell my husband that we, that I wanted to open like a little coffee and tea shop and I wanted to name it tea spot. And I wanted it to have drive throughs on both sides and be like a small building with an out yard patio area. That was kind of like my, they're all over the place in Arizona. I've seen them everywhere now since I had, I mean, I wasn't the only one thinking of that. Mm -hmm. True. Um, the trailer sell knives and rebel redneck stuff but the startup and too scared i guess well you could start with the product making the product oh and tina wants to do a food truck also <laughs> a vendor truck with a shoot that pops your burger <laughs> that's oh funny. i like that you are so creative heather oh my goodness she totally is She's got all the ideas. I want to see a picture of your craft room. <laughs> I know, right? right? And I saw a thing. I saw a thing on um, Instagram. It was a, a fiber art person who said that, like, what was the one thing that sells like hotcakes at craft shows compared to I sold none online? Mm -hmm. And it was funny. It was just like um, a hot pad. <laughs> really? A, a, five, a crocheted hot pad. Huh. <clears throat> it was pretty funny. Yeah. And they don't sell online, but they sell at craft shows. Sell like hotcakes. That makes sense. You know why? I think because I feel like people want to see it and feel it. Yep. You know, they want to make sure it's thick enough. Heather, I want to see a picture of your craft room. <laughs> Yeah, she wants to do stained glass stuff. That's cool. I have beautiful stained glass. My sister-in-law did it for me. I have one behind me in the mm -hmm. window. It's a snowflake. Oh, I see. I see some blue. That must be part of it. What's the <coughs> what's the ne what's the next step that's holding you up? Sorry about that. Were you talking to me? Yeah, you what's said the like your first step. What's the one step that you could take that you haven't done yet? I'm trying to create inventory mm -hmm. and I just don't have the time right now, but I will. Yeah. I have the labels. I got really amazing labels made with our logo on them. Uh-huh. Um, and they're like faux leather because I wanted to see how it went before I did the leather. Mm -hmm. But they're really cool. Let me see if I can find them. Yeah, I want to see those. The smaller, more affordable things sell at fairs because people want something to come home with, whereas online people look for bigger and more specific things. Huh. I think that's probably a fairly accurate assessment there, Blue. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. She does jewelry, too. Heather, we really want to see your craft Here. room. These go on... Like the edge. Oh, that's so cute. I love it. So they just fold over. Nice. So, yeah. I love that. I work more now. <laughs> but, but now you get to do labors of love. Thank you, Blue. Oh, gosh, I'm getting behind. Inventory. Yeah, inventory. So there you go. So that's exactly true. So what Danny was saying. So one of the things was I wanted to switch to local, locally sourced fibers. Mm -hmm. But I can tell you right now, when I spend $28 on a hank of yarn uh -huh. that is locally sourced, uh -huh. people are not going to spend the money for that hat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's no work. That's just $28. So. Personalized items. So 
kind of like those sleeping bags that I was talking about. They were selling for, I think my daughter said they're like $75 a piece. And these are for little kids. Heather said it. show again. So I'm just showing it while you're talking. Yeah. Those are so cool. I don't even have a logo. <laughs> so well, how I these would work is like, these were designed for the scarf thing or a hat. Mm -hmm. So like, oh, hang on. Oh, 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 that's not good. Oh, we got problems. Hold on. Okay. So here's a hat. Mm -hmm. So it would be very, very small on the hat and not intrusive. Oh, yeah. I love it. Yeah. And I think it makes it look, I, I like the look of a tag being on a hat. I do too. It's like the CNC beanies. Yeah. It makes it, I don't know, it looks good. <laughs> Thanks, Tina. Thanks, guys. Yeah, that is cute. I, I buy it, Gwen, like as a treat for myself. Like if I, I want it like the, for the knitting, I wanted to be able to make something nice. Mm -hmm. um, but I'll wear it all the time. But we it's not live something where we can sell. Yeah. What? We live where we could use a wool hat. Like yeah. She's in, hot, in warmer territory. Yeah, I mean. Mm -hmm. But it does. It takes time. I use my, and she's got a cricket. Heather? <laughs> so, oh my goodness. I think you got me beat. I thought I had a lot of hobby, hobbies doing, you know. No all this cricket here. On silk ribbon. So tedious. I bet it was. Holy wow. Smoke. I bet it was cute though. So, Lisa, what's your, okay. So you, in regards to like first step being to build up your inventory. Yep. Um, have you already decided like how many of something you need? Have you taken that step to say, okay, this is what I'm going to sell. And I want to make this many of these, this many of these, and this many of these. Have you done that step? Yes. How many do you have to, how many are you thinking you need to make? I don't know that I put a number on it, like you said, but like I have baskets that I want to fill. Mm -hmm. Like my, my goal is to fill a table. Uh huh. Does that make sense? Yes. So it's not necessarily, it's to fill the display so that when I'm at a, ta a table, uh -huh. what it looks like. Yeah. You've got a decent amount of things. On so it's table. not necessarily the number. So it's just make, 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 and fill my baskets yeah. and lay them out on a big, long table and make sure that I have enough to fill it. Yeah. And then some. Okay. Gotcha. I've got, so mine is, I've got a paint oil that I make. That's pretty darn good. And I need to make, I know I'm not going to change the recipe for it at all. I'm pretty set on that. That's not going to be changed. Um, but I do one for more like joint pain and one for like neurological pain. So there's two different you know, versions of it, but I need to make the label. I know what bottle I want it in. And, um, I don't necessarily have to make a whole lot ahead of time because I can put it online and say, there's this many available and then just update the number as I make it. But it's that label piece. I even already have a bank account with the business name, <clears throat> but I, but I have not actually done anything with it. I just, I haven't, I haven't done the labels and I feel like the labels are, are kind of what's holding me up. So I need to, I need to make a label and I feel like I need to make a label or I need to find somebody to make a label for me and tell them what I want it to look like. So I got my labels now, obviously, I don't know that you would do the same company, but this is literally um, a personalized situation off of Instagram. Uh -huh. right? It's a business yeah. that has their Etsy. Um, it was reasonably priced. I mean, labels, once you figure out the logo. Uh -huh. I have a logo for, I have a logo for my herbal because it's an herbal business. And I have a logo for that. I'll see if I can find it to show you. But Oh, I think I saw it. Um, so I couldn't think of a name and I came up with Tamla. Um, 
and I'll show you. I had this done on Fiverr. Oh, let me take the blur off. Hold on. Let's see. Background. Okay. You see it? Ooh, nice. Go up a little. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah. Tamla Herbal Products. So I have that and even um, got the, uh, the bank account. You know what I mean? But I haven't ordered any labels. I haven't, I haven't for the for the bottles, right? I haven't done that. And I want to do like soaps and things too, and maybe herbal teas, but mainly to start with, it's that pain oil. Because I know that people will buy it and they'll use it and they'll want more of it. You know what I mean? So right, right. Until it heals them, anyways. Paying people out withholding income. There are other selling sites or using your own website is a better way to go. Oh yeah. I, I'm, I do not plan to use Etsy at all. We were talking about this once before and I heard that, I heard that come up. Um, and so I've been second, second thinking cause I was going to do Etsy. Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't do Etsy. Everyone, we had a question there um, from Bare Bones Living. Where are people selling things other than Etsy and local craft fairs? Let's go back to um, Heather had a Milk and Honey Heritage had a question. I found a cow slash bee online somewhere and love it. How do I know if I can use it? Huh. I went to fiverr.com is where I had my label done. So, and this was, you want to talk about how many years ago this was good grief. We were still living in the Valley. So it was probably about 10 years ago. I had that label done on fiverr.com. I spent like 20 bucks. Have you guys ever tried fiverr.com? No, I've never heard of that. I've heard so, of it. I just haven't gone to it. Yeah. It's freelance artists and things that, that do stuff. Um, I need a logo for our YouTube channel. I mean, we just use our picture, which is fine, but I should probably go to fiverr.com for that. See what they can do. Oh, wicked awesome gardening said they did her, they did her logo too. But as far as where to sell stuff, I would um, do my own website and like the Squarespace and all that, that people are talking about. What is Squarespace? That's so the e-commerce. So that way you can, you have your phone and you can, you know, swipe credit mm -hmm. cards and all that. Mm -hmm. And your YouTube page. Yeah. Yeah. We all content creators, you have a platform to sell whatever it is you're thinking about selling. All right. We've got to um, wrap this up. Send owl is another place. Cool. I'd like to challenge everybody. I think that all of us should try to take one step. Hey, Maritza's yarn. Good to see you. I think we should take one step. I need to take one step. Everybody, you can find one little baby step towards your side hustle, even if it's make a new thing, Lisa. Feel better, Rebecca. Um, yeah, I get it. Mm -hmm. I get it. Think? Anybody else want to jump on the bandwagon with us to try to do one thing? to get towards your side hustle over the next week. We're cutting trees. Oh yeah. Which means we can grow things. And Heather's like, look at Heather's down for it and video it. If you oh want to video gosh. it, I might not video it though. I'm, oh, I'm going to report back though and tell you what I did. That's funny. The media network today for your monkey channel. Congratulations. That's awesome. Blue's going to finish cleaning the office and organizing it. Awesome. Bare Bones Living going to check out Squarespace. Cool. Come back and report to us. I will let you do that piece. <laughs> you can tell me about it. Save me the homework. Hubby and Hubby talked about moving my current. Awesome. Home. That is awesome. Use the tree logs for raised gardens, Lisa. No, we're actually donating, well, giving it to somebody to burn. 
tell them you want some biochar. <laughs> and it worked. Seriously. Um, I'm going to do that in the garden bed. All right, guys. Do your one step, even if it's a baby step, even if it's a step that only takes five minutes, like five minute step. Give yourself five minutes towards your future side hustle. There's a lot of us that have been thinking about it. Let's just do one thing. Even if it's pick out the color theme for a logo, um, do one step. I want to encourage everyone to do that. And then we'll touch base next week when we all come back together. So do the thing. Yes. Um, thank you all for coming. Don't forget to support each other with all the collaborations out there. There is a seed swap by Indiana Backyard Gardener. Budget Preppers, she's got um, the meal in a jar videos. Go watch those. She's doing a drawing. You get stuff. That's awesome. Um, there's also Milk and Honey Heritage Farms has hot and cold drink collaboration going on. Um, uh, Broken Hearts Ministry has a collaboration going on. Grow Ooh. Big TV, giving out 100 bucks to grow like big vegetables. Let's do it. Let's, let's win some money. Do it. <laughs> So support each other and do your one thing, guys. And we will see you next week. Look forward to hearing what y'all did. Bye. Bye, everybody. Thanks for coming. <laughs>